Welcome back guys to a brand new Helldivers 2 news video. Now today we are going to be talking about the biggest information that's come through today that you guys have to watch out for if you're someone that's looking to buy games. It isn't just a Helldivers 2 video I guess because it's for lots of the top games at the moment but it's a big warning and shout out to the CEOs that have been calling this out. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you want to come and join um, an amazing Discord, we're coming up to 500 members, link will be in the description down below, we just talk about our favourite games, have loads of channels for loads of stuff, got a giveaway coming up next week, so link will be in the description. Anyway, let's get in with the news and what's going on. So, Johan, who is the CEO at um, um, Arrowhead and um, for Helldivers 2, said, So apparently there's store dupes of Helldivers 2 with stolen imagery from the game and posing as us, with Arrowhead tags and all. How is this possible at Steam? For all out, out there and that want to get the game on Steam, please check user reviews beforehand to avoid being bamboozled. Um, and then I also wanted to screenshot what Bucky, who is the um, who is the community lead community manager at Pocket Pair for Power World, said we had two pop up for Power World today. Got them taken down almost immediately when we emailed Steam. They aren't new apps. Basically, they take um, an app of their existing game and just swap the name and pictures to yours. Um, in our case, both games were small Russian games. So, um, yeah, uh, that seems to be very crazy that they're managing to be able to change Steam games and, uh, and well, the, like, sort of, I don't know what games they'll actually be if you accidentally bought one. Um, and they can p uh, play off as their, and Helldivers too, and they can, like, put fake reviews on to actually do this. So if I hop over to Eurogamer's um, site, which I'll leave the link in the description down below. Um, so two fake Helldivers games popped up on Steam last night. Um, both obviously trying to pretend that they were um, Arrowhead's hit shooter in a bid to scam people into buying their product. Each title listed Arrowhead as its developer and PlayStation as its publisher. A message sent round on the official Arrowhead Discord in this morning warned the community of these fake games, stating that only the leg legitimate releases were Helldivers 2 and Helldivers 2 uh, Super Citizen Edition with the correct release date of the 8th of February. People posting um, as us and trying to scam people is obviously very sad and frustrating. And for that, as, uh, um, as well as for security reasons, we, we urge you to stay clear of them. Arrowhead's community manager wrote, again, the only two Helldivers products we market are Helldivers 2 and Helldivers 2 Super uh, Citizen Edition. So if you are someone that's looking to get the game, please be very careful. I, I guess this, as I said, I guess this doesn't just... You know, this isn't just me saying this for Helldivers 2. This could be a new thing that kind of... I mean, unless it's been happening for longer, I don't know. But this could be a new thing that maybe Steam have to sort out um, for the future so this doesn't happen. Because this could be for any game, you know, so any game you want to buy. So it's very, very, very important that you check the reviews um, when you uh, are purchasing a game. So the, Hel the fake Helldivers 2 games have now been removed from Steam with Arrowhead stating that Valve acted sw very swiftly when contacted. However, evidence remains that thanks to screenshots shared by Wario64 on X, these images show just how convincing the games were. Aside from the wrong release date and the small handful of user reviews, the rest of the sale page looks incredibly similar to Arrowhead's actual Helldivers 2, um, uh, 2 sales page. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I've just been having a look at it, and uh, yeah, it literally, and the, the thing is as well, is they're doing these special sales, so it's like, for the full price is like 70% off, so it may be like, you know, it may catch people out, and that they'll see, and they'll be like, what? It's off 75% off, and you may choose to buy that version instead, because you think it's cheaper, but it's actually not the game, and it's a complete scam. Steam DB history shows one of the fake games was initially titled, I don't even know what that is, figure, figure, I don't even know, and developed by B-Side Studio. The owner edited the game's Steam page in the early hours of this morning, changing the title, description, publisher and developer those to match Arrowhead's Helldivers 2. 
The fact it was possible for a developer to change their product to such an extent has raised concerns about precautions Valve has in place to prevent this sort of scam from happening. Eurogamer has reached out to Valve for further comment on these policies and will do uh, and will do uh, and what it will do to prevent this sort of thing from happening again in the future. Um, Helldivers 2, the real deal, has been a momental success from Arrowhead and PlayStation, and it quickly became PlayStation's biggest Steam, uh, PlayStation's biggest Steam launch ever. Oh yeah, Steam launch ever, and currently has an all-time player concurrent peak of over 458,000 players. Um, so yeah, um, they have now been removed. So if you do sort of type it in, hopefully Helldivers 2 should be the only game that does pop up. But it does sort of raise questions, doesn't it? Because um, I know, I guess that because Valve have probably had, you know, tons of messages like this morning. I'm, I'm sure it's, you know, if it's from Power World, I'm sure then there's going to be a bunch of other games that are out there right now. So pretty much just please be careful when you're buying these games because... One thing I find about every year is a whole load of new scams come in year after year after year. And the scammers get clever. You know, they get more clever every year to find loopholes around scamming people. And this is just one of the new ones that started this year. Something else that obviously, you know, that us uh, YouTube content creators have to um, sort of deal with over the, um, over the, you know, on a daily basis is the fact of just how concurrent the scam e emails are. It's crazy. Um, you know, every single day I'm having to like, you know, it's very good. I feel like um, email providers are pretty good at these days at getting rid of them. But there's like, you know, if you are, this is goes for anyone out, else out there that's a content creator. If you are receiving emails from like, you know, Power World or Helldivers 2, whatever, maybe it's usually whatever content that you create and they're saying, oh, we'd like to do a partnership with you or anything like that. You it, one one of the things you can always tell, you know, it's it's old school stuff. Always can tell when it's a fake thing. You always double check everything. I know I'm I'm sounding like I'm trying to do scammer school with you guys here. I know I know most of you will understand this already, but it's uh, it's crazy and it does worry me for the future um, of uh, you know of game releases because um, there's so many just different things these days that can catch people out and it's really sad to see that you know someone wouldn't want to just put their a developers uh, their developer time into creating their own game and making the industry and it's just sad because there's always going to be scammers and um it's uh, it's very very frustrating so apart from that that's pretty much everything i need to cover in today's video i hope you guys did enjoy it and uh, i will catch you in my next hell divers video which will be coming very soon um, if you want all the news, as I said, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, come and join us on the Discord. See you guys then.